This video introduces our work, Learning Autonomous and Safe Quadruped Traversal of Complex Terrains Using Multi-Layer Elevation Maps. We present a hierarchical control framework for quadrupedal robots that enables safe and autonomous traversal of cluttered terrains. At its core is a novel multi-layer elevation map representation designed to generalize across diverse terrains. We first train several locomotion skills, which are distilled into a single locomotion policy. The local navigation policy is then trained to navigate long-distance targets with safety and agility. A terrain compressor extracts the multi-layer elevation map from occupancy grid maps. It is trained in simulation and deployed in the real world. In this work, we simplify the multi-layer elevation map to three layers. Examples here show how the three-layer map enables robots to crawl beneath or climb over overhanging obstacles, while it reduces to a conventional elevation map when overhanging obstacles are absent. During skill training, we introduce a direction-aware linear velocity tracking reward, which effectively reduces unintended behaviors in some cases and greatly improves the robot's maneuverability. To enhance policy robustness against out-of-distribution scenarios, we randomize obstacle positions, postures, and sizes, and add multiple high walls, poles, and overhanging blocks. We train the local navigation policy on procedurally generated terrains, featuring path sections flanked by tall walls and clustered obstacles of varied types and sizes. Consequently, the robot autonomously avoids hazardous areas, selects the easiest routes, overcomes necessary obstacles, and reaches goals with agility, demonstrating the generalization and robustness of both the locomotion and local navigation policies. For real-world deployment, we train a unit-like terrain compressor that converts occupancy grids into three-layer elevation maps. We collect diverse data pairs in simulation and apply augmentation, including random clearing of accumulated point clouds and adding Gaussian and impulsive noise to improve generalization. To evaluate policy generalization and maneuverability, we generate large-scale, randomized cluttered navigation terrains at varying difficulty levels and define relevant metrics. Results are shown here. We also test terrain representation capabilities. Results indicate that combining depth maps with RNNs struggles to reliably characterize terrain, highlighting the advantage of our multi-layer elevation map. Here, we demonstrate several real-world skill training scenarios, including crawling, climbing, and leaping. The terrain compressor accurately predicts missing regions and reduces noise, while the policy successfully transfers from simulation to reality. Further, we evaluate the local navigation policy in a multi-obstacle scenario where the robot continuously avoids obstacles to reach a goal. We also test the full system on randomized cluttered terrains, where the robot navigates around high walls and leverages different skills. Finally, we assess the performance of our locomotion policy and terrain compressor in an outdoor environment. The robot climbs a high step in an open area, crawls beneath a bench and a camping car, and ascends a slope in low light conditions, demonstrating that the system can generalize in the outdoor scenarios. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.